Hey guys, this is what Nevaeh can do in her lesson book for this week. This is page 58 and 59. So on this page, we learn another new note, E. So we learned C and D last week. Now we're going to learn E. So E is going to be right next to that. And this is base E. So you have that a few times in here, so you can practice all your new notes. Uh, let's write in our note names. So you have 5 on C. So that's going to be base C. And then you have 1 on C. So this is middle C. So left hand, you're going to be on base C, which is right here. So pinky there. And your right hand, you will have thumb on middle C. The last note is lowest C on the piano. So on my piano, my lowest C is right here. The other song you can work on is this one. So this talks about octaves. So an octave is eight notes apart. So on the piano, it's a C to a C, or a D to a D, E to an E, so any notes that are the same, so you could go from a D to this D. So that's an octave. So sometimes when we play duets, I say you get to move up an octave, which means you get to move up higher. So that's what an octave is. So all of these in here are octave jumps. So you're going from middle C to base C. So it'll look like this. You'll have to move, so you'll have C, C, and then C. C, C, C. And then the last line, you can start with your third finger, and that's all you're going to use for the rest of the piece is your third finger. So you'll go... So this is kind of a fun piece that works octaves.